I met Matt Burt, and he's a nice guy. You know, you know him personally and business wise. And I was just curious because the show doesn't air anymore, and, and and I hate to touch on a sensitive subject, but I was curious: are you guys friends, or and if not, can you restore that relationship someday? You think? So, bro, here's Matt was the guy from Operation Rico? Yeah, okay. yeah, he was my Mr. T. The ball head yeah. guy, right? So, uh, like I was saying earlier, everything was yeah. based on, on an A-team. Mm-hmm. So, my, my original guy, Frank Austin, he was in the Marine Corps with me, and he uh, he was the guy on film first, and he ended up getting a job in Vegas, and we weren't picked up yet. And I'm like, dude, go get the money. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, so, as far as, like, anybody involved in the TV show, man, it's like, to me, it's, everything's always... You know, uh, situations can be fixed. It, you know, it's like, to me, I love everybody. I always will, regardless, man. You know, you're going to have people that are going to have different opinions, and, and that's that's their right. Right. You know what I'm saying? So to answer your question, man, eh, everything's repairable, man. Hmm. You know, the only thing that's not repairable is death, man. That's it. So so I hope I answered your question, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It did. So, you know, I, I hope it's not over money in the end because money is so irrelevant in, in the terms of life. You know what I mean? What's important is love and relationships. And I hope that you guys can be friends because when I watched Repo, you guys were friends. Through You guys went through so much together yeah, that agreed. the money should be irrelevant. At this point, yeah. you guys have to be friends. I don't know how you go through years together, you know, at each other's throat. You guys shared every emotion that there could be shared between people and then hate each other today. I just don't think that makes sense. And, and then to know Matt, he's such a nice guy. To see you, you're such a nice guy. And then to see you guys bump heads about anything when life is so short and fragile. Exactly. And, and y'all just squash it. That y'all should just squash it, whatever it is. Or well, stop pointing blame at each other and just go from today. And I just hope you guys can restore that friendship. And that's you, all I wanted to say. You know what? So I feel exactly how you feel. I share your feelings 100%, man. And everybody in my camp knows, everybody knows who I am as you. You're saying it. So I share the exact same thing. And I actually, I thought that happened the last time we met about three or four years ago. I took him out to breakfast. And so you're saying that I get it. You know what I'm saying? Things change for whatever reason. But I did do that since you brought it up. Yeah. So you're I, still in conversation. Yeah. So, you know, years ago, it's like I invited him and Freud to squash everything because they had, they had a problem. They had an issue, whatever it was. You know, and it should have never been with me, the guy that opened the door for them. Mm-hmm. should have never been with me. But since you're bringing it up, it, it is what it is. I don't have a problem with anybody, man. You know, I'm going to keep on soaring. I'm going to keep on moving forward. People that believe in me and respect me are going to be with me. That's just the way it is, Amen man. Amen to that, bro. You know, so, and that's it. You know, but I definitely appreciate you. And that, we weren't even going to talk about that. But since you brought it up, you're you know, a fan of the show. It is what it is, man. But I sh- exactly what you said, homeboy is exactly how I feel about everyone. You shouldn't have it. Life is too short, man. It really is. And yeah. you know what? And the proof isn't my sister just passing away. All right. So when I hear that, it really bothers me because until they're dead, it's too late. All right. No chingus, man. It's too late when you're dead. Don't be an idiot. Stop being a knucklehead. You know, move on. Stop being a victim and, and get with it. What the hell? I don't make any excuses. I, I don't, you know, I've been through more shit than anybody that we even know, you know, and, and I get, this is crazy, but it is what it is, man. You know, it's like, I do all kinds of stuff for everybody. I respect, I love. That's just how I've been. That's what's in my heart. God gave me a heart of service and no one's ever going to change that, period.